Hey chemistry students, this is Mr. Ferguson. Uh, since I'm not going to be here on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, I wanted to give you a little bit of extra help with the uh, type of pH and pOH problems that you're going to be assigned. So I'm talking specifically about the, the problems on pages um, 40 and 41. And then we're going to show some examples of the types found on page 47 and 48. Okay, so what do you need to know to get started? Uh, a few basic uh, relationships. pH is the negative log of our hydrogen ion concentration. And for strong acids and bases that dissociate completely, um, basically the concentration of the hydrogen ion would be equal to the concentration of the acid. The concentration of the hydroxide ion is going to be equal to whatever the concentration of the base is. So our pOH relationship is the negative log to the base 10 of our hydroxide ion concentration. Uh, a couple of other things that are really come in handy, especially when you're trying to switch back and forth between hydrogen and hydroxide ion, are between pH and pOH. The sum of the pH and pOH for any acid or base is always going to be 14. And the product of your concentration of hydrogen and concentration of hydroxide ion is always 1 times 10 to the minus 14th. So these two let you go back and forth. All right, so let's, on, let's go on to a problem. So here's an easy one. Uh, you're asked to find the pOH of a solution, and they're telling you the molarity of it. And I can see that I made a typo on here already. Uh, you probably spotted it already. A 0.13 molar sodium chloride solution should be neutral. So let's change it to a sodium hydroxide solution, NaOH. Okay, so to find pOH of the solution, again, it's a strong base, which means if this is the concentration, and since it's uh, our 0.013 is the concentration of sodium hydroxide, the uh, concentration of the solution is going to be equivalent to the concentration that is the moles per liter of sodium hydroxide. So how do we set this up? Well, the pOH will be equal to the negative of the log to the base 10 of the concentration, 0 0.013. And you just enter it into the calculator just like that. Push the negative button, push the log button, and then type in 0.013 and close the parentheses and hit enter and you should get 1.88605 uh, significant figure wise since this one has two digits in it we're going to keep one digit or excuse me two digits to the right of the decimal so this would be 1.89 is our POH <clears throat> Now, as a follow-up question, what if they ask you for the pH, not the pOH? Well, that's an easy one. The pH is simply 14 minus the pOH of 1.89. So 14 minus 1.89. That's going to give us 12.11. So this solution would most definitely be a basic one. Okay, so let's try a couple that are a little bit more challenging. So again, I've written your, your relationships up here. Um, what is the molarity now of a hydrogen chloride solution or hydrochloric acid solution if we know the pH is 5.6? So we're basically working backwards now from pH. Okay, so remember, if, if the pH is the negative log of our hydrogen ion concentration, then the hydrogen ion concentration should be equal to 10 to the negative of our pH. So we're just taking that and turning it around. So in this case, that's going to equal... 10 to the negative 5.6 power. So if we enter 10 and we raise it to the negative 5.6 power and let's put that in the scientific notation 
Okay, I'm getting 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6 molar, which would also be equal to the concentration of hydrogen chloride since it's a strong acid and it completely dissociates. And so for every mole of this, we're going to have a mole of this. So they're one in the same concentration. Okay, so why did I drop the uh, sig fig? We had actually, actually this, I think I might have made a slight sig fig error. There's only one to the right of the decimal, so it maybe need to round that to three times 10 to the minus six, which sounds like a really small amount, and it is, but um, remember that neutral water has 10 to the minus seventh hydrogen ions in it. So 10 to the minus sixth, we're in the order of 10 times more hydrogen ions than is actually in neutral water. So 5.6 will be a slightly acidic solution. Okay, so the second problem is a kind of different variation. So now we're asked to find the pH. And the amount we're given is the concentration of the hydroxide ion. So we have two ways we can go about this. And the easiest way is probably to just say, well, all right, well, I can't find pH from this, but I can find pOH. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll find the pOH, which is going to be the negative log of 0 0.65, which I'm getting on my calculator to equal 1.5. Eight, seven. Oh, times 10 to the minus 1. That's a 1. So that would be actually 0 0.187. So, all right, so we know the pOH. Well, but what we're asked to find is the pH. Okay, well, let's remember that the sum of the pH and the pOH is always 14. So that means the pH is going to be equal to 14 minus the 0 0.187, 14 minus 0.187, that's 13.8, which would be, this, this would be a really basic solution. All right, so to end up this uh, little tutorial video, uh, we're gonna try a couple of the more difficult problems, and these are two problems that are actually found on your assignment. The first one is uh, page 47, number one. So let's give this one a try. We're asked to find the pH of a solution, but they don't tell us the concentration. They do tell us, however, that we have 85 grams of hydrogen chloride dissolved in two and a half liters of water. So it doesn't uh, take a whole lot of imagination to see, okay, well, we don't know the concentration, but we sure can find the concentration. Uh, we just need to change the gram amount here to moles, and then we can uh, know the moles and divide it by the liters. So let's start with that. So the first thing we need to find is the number of moles of hydrogen chloride. Okay, so this should be relatively simple for you guys at this point. We know we have 85 grams of it. And I already took the time and looked up the molar mass. And it's 36.46 grams of hydrogen chloride in a mole. So if I do that math, I get 2.3313 moles of hydrogen chloride. Okay, now you're probably wondering why I put so many digits on it. Well, this is an intermediate answer, and I'm not done with the calculation yet, so I'm not going to round it off until I get all the way to the end. So the next thing that I want to do is I need to find my concentration of hydrogen ions because that's what I'm going to need to get my pH. Okay, so the concentration is going to be the moles per liter. So remember, it's a strong acid, so whatever the concentration of the hydrogen chloride is, we're going to get that same number of moles 
in the form of hydrogen ions because it completely dissociates. Alright, so we're going to take the 2.3313 moles of hydrogen chloride or hydrogen ions and we're going to divide it by the 2.5 liters and that works out to a nice 0 0.93 molar. So I did round that one to two sig figs. And now for the pH. So the pH is simply the negative log of our concentration of 0 0.93 molar. And so I got for that, I'm going to squeeze it in up here, 0 0.03. 3, 2 for the pH value. This would be a super acidic solution. It's a less than 1 the pH. Alright, so let's go on and try our final problem. Uh, this is taken from the same set of worksheets there on page, I think we're on page 48 now. We're going to try number five. All right, so number five tells us that we have a solution, and the pH is 3.95, so it's an acid. It's diluted from 15 milliliters to a final volume of 100 decimal point milliliters, and we need to know the resulting pH of the solution. This is this is actually the at the bottom of page 47. Excuse me, it's not on page 48. Okay, so. We kind of have to do this in stages, so the, we, we need to know what is the concentration or what is the amount of hydrogen ions in this 15 milliliters at that pH. Once we get the number of moles or the concentration that we have there, then it becomes kind of like a dilution problem and we can get the final concentration with the dilution problem and then we can do the pH, so it's actually a three step problem. So the first step is we need to know what is the concentration of hydrogen. So the concent whoops, the concentration of hydrogen ions in the original solution is going to be 10 to the negative 3.95 power because it's kind of taking the anti-log or the inverse log of it. And so I did that already, and I got one. 0.12 times 10 to the minus fourth molar. All right, so now it becomes a dilution problem. So remember our dilution equation is first molarity times first volume equals second molarity times second volume. Okay, well this is our first molarity. Right there is our first volume. So we kind of set it up like so. 1.12 times 10 to the minus fourth molar times 15 milliliters equals x times 100 decimal point milliliters. You just need to solve that for x. So I multiplied these two together divided by 100 and I got a value for x of 1.683 times 10 to the minus 5 molar for that's the concentration of hydrogen in the second solution, the diluted down solution. All right, well now it just becomes a pH problem. So the pH of this new solution, negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration which is 1.683 times 10 to the minus 5 molar and that works out to 4.77 for the pH. So it was 3.95 but we diluted it down so the pH went up. Uh, the more water you add, the higher the pH is going to get because you're spreading those hydrogen ions out through a greater amount of solution, so your pH is going to go down. 
All right, so that gives you a, kind of a taste of what some of the different problems are involving pH, and hopefully that's helpful to you in completing the assignment.